In the previous video, you have learned how to manually compute for the descriptive measures used in statistics. In this video, I will demonstrate how to compute for those descriptive measures using Microsoft Excel. The first thing that you have to do, of course, is to prepare the data to be analyzed. In this case, I listed down the values in the previous example. Now, to get the measures of central tendency, starting with the mean is to make use of the average function. Simply type equal sign, average, then in parentheses, the cell reference of the first observation, in this case A2, followed by colon, then the cell reference of the last observation, in this case A6. You may or may not put close parentheses and then press the Enter key. Note that in calculating the mean in Microsoft Excel, it doesn't matter whether you are dealing with the population or sample. For the median, Microsoft Excel has the median function. Just press equal sign, median, then in parentheses, the cell reference of the first up to the last observation, separated by colon, and then you may or may not put parentheses. Just press Enter key and you will have the median. Similarly, for mode, just press equal sign, then mode, then the cell reference of the first and the last observation in parentheses, then press Enter key. Just note that for bimodal, trimodal, and multimodal data, the mode function gives only the lowest among the other modes. So if you have 12 and 40 as the modes, the mode function gives only 12. Oh no! Thus, if you have multiple values of mode, use mode.mult function. So that is equal sign mode.mult, open parenthesis, the cell reference of the first and the last observation separated by colon, close parenthesis, then press control, shift, together with the Enter key. And for a data set with no value of mode, Microsoft Excel will display the not available error, indicating that the mode does not exist. As for the measures of other positions, starting with quartiles, we use quartile.exc. Then in parentheses, the cell reference of the first observation, colon, the cell reference of the last observation, then comma, and then 1 for quartile 1, 2 for quartile 2, and 3 for quartile 3. For the percentiles, that is equal sign percentile.exc, then in parentheses, the cell reference of the first observation, colon, the cell reference of the last observation, comma, and the decimal form of the percentile. So if you're looking for percentile 73, use 0 0.73. You may or may not put parentheses, press the Enter key, and that will give you the 73rd percentile. And although there is no decile function in Excel, you may use percentile.exc to find the decile that you're looking for. Like for example, if you're looking for the 6th decile, you may use percentile.exc, then use 0 0.60, and that will give you the 60th percentile, which is exactly the same as the 6th decile. Note that we are using the point .exc as it uses the same formula which is by default being used by other statistical softwares like SPSS and Minitab. And just so you know, there are 9 ways to compute for the measures of other positions as documented and I will post it in the description box below. Moving on, let's have the measures of variability starting with range. And since there is no range function in Excel, we may use the max function to look for the highest observation, subtract it with the lowest observation using the mean function. And similarly, there is no function for the interquartile range. So we may look for the quartile 3, subtract it with quartile 1 to get the interquartile range. For the mean absolute deviation, we use the AVEDEV function. Then similarly, in parentheses, put the cell reference range of the data, then press Enter key. And similar with the mean, it doesn't matter whether you're dealing with population or sample data. Variance in Microsoft Excel uses equal sign var.p or in earlier versions, equal sign var.p to compute for the population variance. And equal sign var.s or simply equal sign var to compute for the sample variance. And in calculating the standard deviation, that is equal sign stdev.p 
or equal sign STDEVP in earlier versions to compute for the population standard deviation. And for the sample standard deviation, that is equal sign STDEV.S or simply equal sign STDEV. And lastly, you may divide the standard deviation with the mean, then multiply by 100 to compute for the coefficient of variation. Know that these values are percentages, so that is 47.35% and 0.16%. We may also get some descriptive measures in Microsoft Excel using its Analysis Tool Pack. In the Excel menu above, click Tools, Excel Add-ins, and check Analysis Tool Pack then click OK. This will enable the data analysis button as you click data. So click data analysis, choose descriptive statistics, then click OK. Click the box for the input range, highlight the observations, do not forget to check the summary statistics, and then click OK. And it will show you the quick summary of your data set. Note that this may not be complete as this only shows the three measures of central tendency and some measures of variability, like the range, sample variance, and the sample standard deviation. And this ends this video about the descriptive measures using Microsoft Excel. You may click like, you may also subscribe, and hit the bell button for more updates. Stay safe, guys!